Hey guys, it's Drew Brashler. I am here today with a follow-up to last week's video on the scenes, snippets, and cues. Now today we're going to be talking about the scene safes, parameter safes, and channel safes. Now when the board is talking about a safe, it's enabling a protection for a certain parameter from being overwritten. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what these different things look like. So we're going to go ahead and press the view on the scenes button and get our scenes tab up here. And we can see over here on the right hand side we have scene safes and we have a couple different things listed. We have routing IO, output patch, preamp HA, configuration, channel process, uh, mixed buses, effects, and talkback. Now the way that we can enable this is on a scene is using our sixth rotary knob. We can go ahead and rotate this and if we want to safe um, this scene for this particular thing, we would just go ahead and click that. Now this is basically saying that for channel process to this scene, I am safing my routing IO or if I was wanting to also safe from overriding my effects I would go and click effects here now so now this scene is not going to overwrite the routing IO or the effects now if I was wanting to enable the channel process on so my scene 40 from overriding my channel processes basically I would select this channel process, click there, and then if I was to go and press load, it wouldn't overwrite the channel process. Now, let's go ahead and actually look in and see what all these different things look like and actually do. Now, routing IO is gonna be basically all of the routing portion of the board. So if we go and click routing, that's gonna be every single tab here. So we have our home, our output one through 16, our aux out, P16 out, card out, AES50A, B, and the XLR outs. So that's going to be all of the routing IO. So basically, if you have a scene safe that is has routing IO enabled, it's not gonna overwrite any of the routing. Now, output patch is very similar, it just doesn't include the home, so the input block patching. So all of the rest of the outputs is going to be overwritten. Now, preamp HA is going to be all of the preamps that are available on the X32, both local and AES50 connected, and the phantom power, so the plus 48 volts. Um, and we can see that by going and pressing setup and going over to preamps. And so any of these preamps here, so our locals, our AES 50 A's, and our AES 50 B's are enabled to be safe by the preamp HA. Configuration is gonna be all of the parameters that can be recalled inside of the configuration portion of the board. And so we can go and kind of see a little bit of that in our config tab. Now the configuration scene safe is going to include any of the channel, aux, effects returns, um, any of those linkings of those channels. So if I had channels one and two linked together, that would be a configuration safe portion that would need to be saved there. The other things that this is going to include is also any of our um, MC depends on LR, our panning mode of the board, solo settings, talkback settings, oscillator settings, user assigned settings, basically every single thing that you can configure on the board is safe available in this configuration. Now the next one that we have is channel process. Now channel process is going to be the entire channel strip. Now that's going to be your polarity, your low cut, any of your EQ, your gate, dynamics, mix button sends and main bus fader panning all of that now the only thing that this is not going to safe is phantom power and channel linking. Next is gonna be mix buses. This is gonna be any of the configuration for the mix bus, any of the channel strips. So that's gonna be your EQ, your dynamics, um, your sends for your main bus, any of that is going to be under mix buses. Uh, effects is the next one. Uh, that's going to be any of your effects rack. So um, your effects rack one through eight, any of these parameters saved within the effects are saved in this effects portion. Now the only thing that's not safe in effects is the inserts or the routing. So if you have inserts here, like on um, these three effects racks, I have channels one through six inserted. If you have effects saved, it's not going to save these. So if you did change to a different scene, any of these would be actually overwritten. Um, also any inserts 
on the right hand side would also be overwritten. So just be noting on that. Uh, talkback is going to be anything in your talkback section. So all of your talkback um, buses that it's being sent to, the talkback level, anything like that. So that is all of our scene safes here. Now, there's also parameter safes and channel safes. So let's go ahead and hop over and take a look at that. So parameter safes gives you the ability to safe the parameter over the entire board. So if I was wanting to um, enable a protect on the EQ over the entire board, I would just go and select EQ and press that. Now, any scene that I would load from here on out would not overwrite the EQ section of the board. One thing that this would be useful for is mutes. Um, if you wanted to have a show without having any automated mutes, um, you wanted to have only your fingers muting those buttons, you would want to have this selected, um, and that way any scenes that you're loading will not overwrite the mutes. Um, and then we also have our sends and our mix bus stuff here, and also the configuration of the console here as well. Now channel safe is another thing that we can do. If we had a specific microphone, say um, an MC mic during a uh, live band show, and you had that going in channel 30 to, and you wanted that to always be available no matter what scene you're loading and everything like that, you can actually go in and select channel 32 and set that as a safe. Now, any scene that you load from here on out is not going to overwrite channel 32. So that will always pass audio through, and as long as your route, output routing doesn't really change too much, it should be able to pass audio through. Now, one thing that is weird is if you have channels one and two linked as a stereo pair, so, and then you went and saved these, and you loaded up a different scene that didn't have those saved as a linked pair, it would unlink those. Now, even though you have channel safe set on one and two. So we have channel set one and two safe, those are linked previously, but we load up a different scene that does not have those linked. It would actually unlink those two channels. Now, when we unlink those two channels, it does retain the settings that were there. So your gain settings, your EQ settings, your fader settings, all of that is still there, but the actual faders won't be linked together anymore. So if you were to go adjust the EQ on, say, channel one, it would not copy over to channel two. Now, I know some of you are gonna ask, well, Drew, is there a way that I can just protect all of my settings from anyone being able to, you know, overwrite that? The answer is no. Very sorry, there's no way of doing that. I know on some consoles like the Yamaha M7CL, you can actually go and assign a password to certain portions of the board from being overwritten. I really wish there was a part of this board that had that. The best way of doing that is to save it on a USB drive, save your scene on a USB drive, and put that physical USB drive in a very special spot that only you know of, or tape it underneath your board, or something like that. Have a couple of them around your venue. Just keep them in a spot where you know where they are. That way, if any of your scenes and parameters get written over accidentally, you can just go grab that and load it in. Lastly, my favorite tip is to save your default scene in scene 99. Now, why 99? Well, if we go and click over to scenes, it takes a long time to scroll from the top up here in 0 to 13. This is usually where people are saving all their scenes. It takes a long time to scroll all the way down to channel 99 for our scenes. Now, I love taking my default scene and saving it there. It just gives it a really quick accessible spot inside the board for me to go and pull those settings back up if I ever need to again. Now, one last thing to talk about with the channel um, safes, the parameter safes, and our scene safes is they do not protect against being loaded from the library. So if I went to my library and I went and loaded a library setting onto a channel, it would overwrite the entire channel even if it was saved inside of the parameter safes, the scene safes, or the channel safes. So the safes portion of the board only relates to the scene portion of the board.
Now I'm gonna say that one more time. The channel safe, the parameter safe, and the scene safes only relate to the scenes portion of the board. It does not relate to the library. So if you did load a library setting onto a channel, it would overwrite that even if you had it saved. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this kind of helped clear up a few things about the safes and I hope that you start using scenes and cues and snippets and safes in your mixing at your console. Thank you so much and make sure to subscribe to my channel.